Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate from performance point of view to compare C++ array. The example of this video, we assume we have to process 100,000 integers so to be able to handle this, the first way, first thing you have to do is to create an integer array and load the date into the array. In the example, we are going to use a random function to simulate loading 100,000 numbers into the integer array. And in the C++, you popularly say you have three ways to define the integer array. The first way is called a, you click a declare int, you give the name, my int, and you give the size, it's 100,000. And there's another way you declare the array is you use this way, std array, and you put the type, is int, and then give the size 100,000. And then you define the name, we can call my array. And uh, we can also use in the vector, so this, uh, and give the type, and give the my vector as a name. So this tool is a STL container, which uh, not only, uh, this one is just uh, allocated memory for 100,000 integers, and uh, there's no more feature, we call the row array, or we can classical integer array. So this tool, uh, str container array, which is gives some feature for bounce protection, interreaders, and this this vector is also very very flexible. You can extend it after you define this. You can add, insert, delete, uh, lots of features. So let's see. We are going if we are going to load a hundred thousand dates into the array. So we're going to have to be create a loop. So we go into is the four and uh, INTI equals zero. So one hundred thousand I plus plus and the uh, inside the loop we call it my int number I element. We're going to use a so we're going to the random function to generate a random number and this one just define we're going to the random number is between 1 to 100 and we made this loop so now to measure how the time how efficiency we're going to first we pick up a the time point, we call the time start. And uh, we're going to use in the very high resolution clock. And I take the now, this moment, and uh, this one we have to define the time point. So we have the time point, the start time, and the clock now. And then we put this one after the loop, we give it another name called the time end. So the executed time will be time end minus. 
and start. So this one return back is a double number for clear to, to see the result. We are trying to convert this easy to read. We will convert this as a millisecond. So we have to recasting. But we are casting this and uh, millisecond. So now we have time point. Now we try to print out. See out. What we're going to print out is say my int So my diary running time it should be Executed time count. So, so clearly, we also give the unit of the measure. Okay, next line. So now we have done the loop to assign the 100,000 random number to the array and we pick up the time point start and time bump ending and when we calculate the duration. So now, okay, so just by the way, for saving typing, type, typing time, we have created the same, same program using this array way or using this array way. So we are not going to show you here. We just already created the executive and we just try to run and compare using three way to define the array What's the performance using this different way? So now we just uh, compile this, build this, and build this. You see? Okay, so everything's green. Now let's go back to Unix. As I said before, we, I have already built another program called my white, which is using the way we declare as vector. And we use a std array to declare the integer array. We do the same loop, same number. And uh, now we after we build, let's see. So we have a, this one is what we just build, which we use a classical integer array. And we for 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 the showing the running result, we create a very very easy. Um, you know, shell script, which running each program five times. And then we just see what's the result. So let's see how to run, we just run. Okay, so now we can clearly see, we use in classical way my int, and using this way to declare the integer. And the running time is 22111 millisecond. If we use a, ST array this way to declare the integer array the running time average is two 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 two, two is two millisecond and if we use a vector as an integer array the running time is three millisecond so using vector need almost a double time we use as we use it classical integer just for loading hundred thousand numbers into the array. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoy and it's, all, it's going to be great to have your feedback.